semi-final of the Champions Cup. What happens today could obviously shape the second leg in a few days' time. We'll see. We are getting towards the business end of the Champions Cup. Here we are at the semi-final stage, Alan Smith. Yeah, it's a nervous time because you've come so far, you've worked so hard, you don't want to blow it now. Well, it's become a real rivalry. I can remember not that long ago when Sven Joran Eriksson was managing Manchester City. They lost 6-0 at Chelsea. So uh, that gap has been closed a lot, hasn't it, in recent seasons? Well, it has indeed. Uh, we know all about the money that's been pumped into both clubs and... You see it with a talent on view here. Number seven, Engolo Kante. There's a couple of players who you might keep a special eye out for today. Alan Smith's certainly going to do that. Well, two excellent attacking players we are treated to seeing. I'm really enjoying good seasons and I'm expecting a bit more of the same today. Here's the Chelsea lineup. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone front man. It's a real group mentality in this lineup about pressing the opposition into making mistakes and cashing in on it straight away. Well, it takes a lot of energy, a lot of motivation. It's easy to drop off, and when you do drop off that really aggressive closing down, that's when it can fall down. Chelsea, we know they're looking good, feeling good. They had that away win recently in their last game, actually, against Southampton. Yeah, deserved 2-1 victory for them. It could be a little tougher here. I think they get a draw. Stefan Schoeverbel is the referee. <whistles> well, there's a lot of nerves out there. I think you can sense it, Alan, as we prepare for the kickoff of the Champions Cup semi final. Yeah, it doesn't matter how experienced you are, I think nerves can play a part, and it's just getting those nerves out of the system early on. There's a dangerous feel to this attack, it's looking good from their point of view. Sane. Pogba. Break quickly when they get possession. Treading it through. Look, Son. Well, sometimes these opportunities can come too early, and maybe this is one of them. Yeah, maybe just caught cold there, wasn't expecting the chance to land at his feet and made a mess of it. Alex Telles. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. It will be their throw. Alex Telles, Fernandinho, now with Hazard, Hazard. It's Aguero, and here's Hazard. Alex Telles, that's good support play from his teammates. Hazard, now the shot! Well, that's easy for Courtois. Sane. Dembele. Chelsea on the attack. Here's Alexandra. Well, then it goes. Magnificent from the goalkeeper. Well, it's all about positioning and spreading his body. Top class keeping. He saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. There's some potential in this move. David De Bruyne. Aguero. Fernandinho. Read the play well to intercept. 
Alexandro. The wider areas of the pitch working well for Chelsea and their philosophy today. Intercepted well. Good vision, and here they are on the attack. And that's dealt with the problem. Now this is an interesting attack. Well, oh, very sharp reaction save from close in. It's a corner for Manchester City. Here comes the corner. Made away, well away from goal. Can't give it away here. Keeps it okay. Kevin De Bruyne played forward. A bit of menace in this attack. Aguero gone for placement, and his bearings wrong. Sula. Here's Conte. Conte. So, could be a chance. He's through here. And that's really the way to get the ball out of the danger zone. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. He screened the ball well there. Good play, one on one. The shot's on. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. Being closed down. Has it been thrown now after the tackle? Alexandro. Pogba. Song. Semedo. Challenges for the ball. Conte. Compliment the defender, but not the player trying to cross it. And he's cut that out well, well read. Kevin De Bruyne. Little piece of interplay between the two. Good play from Manchester City on the attack now. Good strong tackle. And there is some backup for him in this position. Fernandinho to stop the opposition, gets the ball out of harm's way. Kyle Walker. Aguero. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. We we'll probably expect, and probably they expect a bit more from themselves, Chelsea. Well, then it goes. Well, he gets the credit, and the credit was being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, I think the easiest goal score this entire season. Chelsea have the lead. For Chelsea, number 21, Paolo Dybala. Here's Laporta. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. No wasting of time in that situation. Conte. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Gunduan. Here's a chance to attack. Now he's looking for support. Gundogan. Here's Fernandinho. Sane. The wider areas of the pitch working well for 
Chelsea and their philosophy today. We can cut it back now. Chelsea's corner. They've gone short with the corner. And shoots! That's a good block. Alex Telles. Kevin De Bruyne. Good to one. Aguero. The signal's gone up for two minutes. And they're coming out. Two minutes. Sane. Sane. Semedo. Aguero. Good to one. Well, there's a long way to go in this semi-final. Remember, there are two legs in this particular cup competition, but they are leading. They have just about edged in front. They have. The first quarter of the challenge has been accomplished pretty well, and uh, more the same in the second half, and they'll have a nice advantage. So the referee blows and it's off and running for the second half of the Champions Cup semi-final. Well, we're getting to the point now where nobody can afford to make a mistake. Pogba. Alexandro really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. And Villa Conte. So. It's deep up. Shots on here. Chelsea's corner now. Short corner. Well, that's good support. The shot's on. Edison with an easy save. Alex Telles. Tibala. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Conte. Kevin De Bruyne. Here's Sterling. Nice interplay between the two of them. Here's Walker. It goes out wide again. Good deep cross towards the far post. It's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Quick note for your diary. Make a note of this particular date. EA Sports, we've got the presentation of the Premier League fixture. Chelsea, they'll be facing Bournemouth. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. Really getting at the opposition this far. Sane! Here's a chance, the goalkeeper. Exposed. Dybala. Could be dangerous. Dembele. Got the tackle in. Good to add. Looking ahead, Alan, Manchester City's next game. Yeah, they're playing Newcastle United in their next match. I think this could be pretty easy for them. Conte. Dybala. Son. Here's Alexandro. And here they are, on the attack. Pogba, Dybala, and here's the shot, the shot gets blocked, Dembele, just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. 
Safety foul. Semedo, little piece of interplay between the two. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Dybala, very skilled. These passes may look easy, but the uh, work off the ball is very important. Aguero. Some pressure, he shielded it well. Cutting in now. And shoots! Strong challenge. Well, long overdue, you feel this change. For a side that's behind, a switch of tactics now. Put the corner in the middle. Corner far too near the goalkeeper. He's uh, at his best in those circumstances. Here's Conte. The wider areas of the pitch working well for Chelsea and their philosophy today. Ball kick to come. Kevin De Bruyne. Sergio Aguero. Saw it coming. Well, he could be in. Alex Telles. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Pulisic. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. And he's flagged offside. Well, they are behind, so it's time for a change. They've got to try and improve their performance somehow. Here's company. Silva. Kevin De Bruyne. They could pose some danger now. Great play from the here. Aguero scores! Oh, that's typical Sergio Aguero, isn't it? Not many better around when it comes to finishing from that kind of position. Knocked it away from very close range. All about concentration, that getting the right strike on it. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Here's Conte. Well, I like the look of this attack. of goal what we get to see of course the assistants don't whether that will change down the years uh, I'm not sure but anyway the replay here shows he's got it right he has I mean there was no real goal scoring chance but uh, the defense would be pleased that uh, their organization caught him off Sane Dybala Vincent Tompany. Well, they're in a good position here. And now the shot! Hit the post! And now a throw in. Sergio Aguero. Now, can he take them on? And is this the moment? And it's a shot now! What a goal, and what a time to get it! This is a competition famed for its late goals, and we may well have witnessed a really important one here. They are in front, and very little time to go. Still tough going for Chelsea, still trailing, but their side is so full of... And it 
will be a free kick here. No wasting of time in that situation. To get the equaliser. Oh, amazing. They've equalised. Late on, it's level again. And what a great contest this is turning out to be. Well, they've got it in the very nick of time, in stoppage time. They're level. Not all second half, they've kept plugging away, plugging away, and you have to say, in the end, they deserved it. Well, I wonder where we go from here now that we're level again in the game. Anything could happen. And it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time. Sula. Pogba. Dybala. We're coming towards the end of the game. And Chelsea still trying to win it. Well, that was looking good, and now it's turned over, and all the potential of that attacking play is lost, and they've now got to get back and try and make sure they don't concede themselves. That's the final whistle from the referee. And nothing between these two teams. Really exciting here, and the two teams have been at each other hammer and tongs, but they've ended level. Coming into the match, I found it difficult to separate them, and that's how it's turned out at the end. Well, they'd have been in a bit of a mess, I think, but for him... Well, he played really well, got himself a couple of goals. He'll just be disappointed it didn't earn his team the full three points.